What's up homies, it's me. I'm gonna be doing a short tutorial on how to reuse Rigify's space switching mechanic and put it onto other bones. I talked about it a little bit on Twitter um, and so people requested that. Uh, so here I just have the box standard meta rig. I did remove the face because let's be honest, no one uses that anyway. Uh, and go ahead and generate this just so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, so out of the box, the eye case come behaving like this, but they have this really neat feature where like you can pose it out, do crazy stuff. And then you can space switch it into other things. So it's like a dynamic parent, basically. Um, so you can do that, but you know, you still move the chest, nothing happens. You can change that uh, chest, boop, you know, do whatever you want. Oh, I did something there. It's a really neat feature. Uh, I use it a lot for animation, but it'd be really useful if you can use it on other bones as well, um, you know, so the character can inter interact with props easier, let's say. And so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. It's, it's, it's real simple. Um, so, First thing we're gonna do, make sure we're in the right layer, and then we're gonna to go to edit mode and um, add two bones. So one, uh, and then we can call this one control, control. And then we can duplicate it, shift D and scale it down or up, depending on your preference. Um, and we'll do control dot, control dot parent. And as the name suggests, we're gonna be parenting our control to that bone. Um, and that's that's the whole setup so i mean we just have one parent control or one parent bone i should say and then one control that we're going to be using and i'll give this control a bone shape i have the copy attributes add-on which i recommend enabling um and you can just copy bone shape there and there you go we're done uh and the next thing we're going to do is add a custom property here at the bottom press new um and then we're going to change this from float to integer and then we're going to change this number here to the number of parents you want to be able to switch to. So if just for the example, I'm gonna be using both hands. So I'm gonna be having two parents, the left hand and the right hand, uh, but you can do as many parents as you want. I'm gonna change this to control underscore parent or some relevant name, whatever you want. And check this box for library o overridable in case you ever want to link the rig. That's gonna be very important. And then we're gonna head over to the scripting tab. I actually have to do one more thing. I have to go to this parent bone and I have to add an armature constraint and we're going to add target bone we're gonna press that twice uh, because we're gonna have two parents we're gonna select the rig for both of these and then the bone that we want to parent to so we'll just do def and dot l and and dot r and then we're going to go back to our control and take the custom property that we made right click copy as new driver paste driver, edit driver, go to scripted expression, and we do control parent equals equals one, update dependencies, copy driver, paste it again, and this time it'll be control parent equals equals two. If you had more parents, you know, you would just add them in, in whatever order that you, you want. So for us, we're just doing left hand, right hand, and that's how it is in the script. So we'll just add two parents here, two drivers, left hand, right hand, and then, we're gonna head over to the scripting tab. I'm gonna load up the rig UI, and we're gonna to go to line, uh, what line is it, 1872. Yes, 1872. Um, it's this chunk of code here. Um, basically, I'll have it in the description with the things that you can change. Um, but yeah, you're basically just gonna take this, control C, copy, go to the bottom of this little code block here. Uh, and then we're going to go two indentations backwards. So one, two, and then you're gonna paste the code. Actually, that's not true. And then you're gonna type if is selected um, and you're just gonna copy the function you see there. So let's see, uh, parentheses, curly thing, uh, control, 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 uh, single quotes, another curly thing and another parenthesis. that. Then we can paste, and now I don't know why I did that, but we'll just unindent here. Format, unindent, fantastic. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change some words in this little code block here, um, and then everything should be working. Uh, so prop bone here, we're gonna change this to control, because that's the control that we're gonna want the operation to be done on. Uh, so we'll change this for this bottom section as well, props.bone, control, uh, and then 
props dot prop underscore bone this is this should be where the uh, custom property that we made is located in our case it's the same control um, if you put it anywhere else for like organizational reasons you would put that bone instead but we'll just call it control and here once again control and then we're going to change this to what the custom property name is if we go down here you can see control underscore parent so all we have to do control underscore parent here we go um, and in fact i'm going to do that here as well then the last thing we have to change is this guy these two guys here so this one is just where the again the property is located control and then the name of the property once again control underscore underscore fuck underscore parent and then uh actually i lied last thing you have to change is this list of parents um so this is just what comes with rigify's default um but it's just a list of parents you can copy the pattern um for, for this demonstration we're just doing the hands so let's do hand.l and then hand.r and I can copy this little section here and paste that here. And then I hit the play button. I go back to layout and this should all work. You could see here we have the control here, um, you know, whatever. It's by default parent to two, the left hand like so. Um, so we just move this around and then we can move this over here and change the parent to the right hand and now the hand is no longer controlling it, the left hand, I should say, but the right hand is. Um, so it's very easy to like, let's say, you know, you throw it and like, oh, it goes in the air. And while it's in the air, it's not parented anything. And the body's hands doing crazy stuff, you know, I'm going to catch it and bring it over here. Boom. And parent it to the left hand. And there you go. Um, I guess the very, very last thing you do was you would just move this into the mechanism layer. And then um, you can go ahead and hide the deformed bones and uh, have your skinned character rig and they can very easily interact with props, you know? If there was anything, uh, a monkey, you know? Because who doesn't love interacting with monkeys? We'll just parent this to that bone. Oopsies, that's not what I want to do. Uh, there we go. And yeah, there you go. Yeah, props. Woo!